Hello everybody and welcome to Faith in 5. I'm really excited to have you all back and today, this week, we'll be looking at how can we prepare for Christmas. If you've not checked out the last video, we'll be talking about what is Christmas and we also have some videos talking about Advent too. Well, let's crack on with the video. One way you can prepare is by preparing spiritually. Now, we've talked about this in the past in our last few videos. I really want to emphasise the point of how important Mass and prayer is during this time. When you go to Mass on Christmas, you'll be celebrating with many other Christians enjoying the Christmas day, celebrating the life and the birth of Jesus Christ. Now, one thing you can also do is also pray for those people in your community. Pray for those people in your parish. Pray to God and ask that everybody has a good Christmas. Because for everybody it can look different, but if we're there praying for them, we know that we are trying to do our little bit to make sure everyone has the best Christmas they can. So Christmas is a really important time for Christians all over the world, and it's a time of inclusivity, happiness, love and joy. Jesus would have wanted everybody to be included during Christmas, and he would have loved everybody to feel happy on Christmas. So sometimes we have to go out of our way to go and support them in that way. And there's many different things you can do. And all of these will be significant to the people who need it. There are people who are way less fortunate than we are. who really can't have a good Christmas this year. And we've got to go and take our step and be courageous and go help them have a good Christmas this year. So there are many different ways you can help someone less fortunate than you this Christmas. There's things like food banks for people who maybe are homeless and don't know where they're going to get their next meal. You could even go out into the streets of your town or your city, helping the homeless on their days, maybe giving them the supplies that they need to get them through the day. So which could be a toothbrush, some toothpaste, some shower gel, a new jacket, a new coat, maybe even a sleeping bag, something that they will need and that will be a big light in their life. There's also stuff like the shoebox appeal, where you can send a small shoebox, either filled with multiple different things for young people in different countries who are less fortunate. The little things we might not need could be a huge thing for them. For, for example, a backpack. A backpack for some kids is amazing because they're able to carry their stuff to school. And some people really struggle and have far ways to go for school. So stuff like that or a pair of shoes could really go a long way for a child. Since Christmas is a time of giving, maybe you'd like to raise some money for a charity. I know if you've got a good voice, you could always head down and start doing some Christmas caroling outside a shop or go door to door and raise some money for a charity. It's really important to give back to others who are less fortunate than us and make sure they have the best Christmas that they can. Maybe you want to go decorate your house or even help decorate your parish church. This is a simple little way of showing that, spreading that Christmas joy and putting decorations up to make people happy. It's really nice to get involved in your community and especially your parish and doing a simple act like this can go a long way for some people. Sometimes decorations can bring joy, joy for people. So maybe going into your church and maybe setting up a Christmas tree is a fantastic idea to get people to understand that Christmas is coming. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I've given you a few ideas of how you can prepare for Christmas. Now we know what Christmas is in the last video, we can now prepare and get ready for the birth of Jesus. And if you've not watched any of the other videos, make sure you pop back and give them a look. And don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias, which will be linked below. But other than that, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas and a fantastic day and I will see you next time. See you later now.